there is nothing like the pain and torture of climbing a mountain with 15 kilos on your back and just being sweaty and tired and like sleep deprived to bring people together. Hello friends, I hope you guys are doing well today. I am Karina and welcome to Explore Blue Wild. skills need to be improved vastly <gasps> okay so travel and mental health hey just disclaimer here is that mental health is a very serious issue and especially mental illness I do not think travel can cure any mental illness that is not true the treatment for that is therapy please go see a therapist it's good for you I promise <laughs> but other than that travel can be amazing to help with your mental health and it can help you it's not gonna cure any of your mental illnesses or any of your challenges, but it can help you kind of conquer your fears and develop really good coping skills. In no particular order, these are some of the ways that travel is amazing for your mental health. So, one, it pushes you out of your comfort zone. Sometimes we kind of get trapped in the life or the comfort zone that we have and we're programmed to stay in that zone because that's where our little monkey brain wants us to stay. That's where it's safe, but that's not usually the best place for us. And travel, real travel, forces you out of your comfort zone to experience new things, to meet new challenges. And that's really good for us because it teaches our little monkey lizard brain that it's okay to try new things and it's okay to be out of your comfort zone because look, we did it and we're still safe. So travel is amazing for that. I think that's probably one of the biggest things that travel has helped me with. Another thing that travel does that's great for your mental health is it teaches you to problem solve. You get put in pretty challenging situations sometimes when you travel. Like, for example, if your bus was late and then you miss the ferry to get on your other bus that you have to be in for the town because the bus that you need leaves the next morning and all of a sudden you have no way to get across a ocean, mini ocean, straight. <laughs> so travel teaches you to face challenges like this and either you don't solve them the way you expected and you're fine, you survive, it might not go great, but you'll be okay. Or you find new and creative ways to solve problems that you didn't necessarily know you had in you. And also, this is great for like anxiety and <laughs> for the unknown, because one of the things I think we fear so much um, when we're looking for new experiences and new travels, like what if it goes wrong? Oh my God, what if it goes wrong? And things going wrong is honestly one of the best things that can happen uh, when you're traveling because it teaches you so much about yourself and it teaches you how strong you are and how creative you are. And yeah, it's really good for you. <laughs> also, <laughs> the other thing that problem solving is great for is it helps you gain confidence. Sometimes we are so afraid that we're not gonna be able to accomplish things, but then if you come up with a challenge, especially when you're traveling, that is really, really difficult and you don't really have a choice but to solve it or come up with some version of a solution. And when you do, you've done it. You've, you know, you've resolved the problem, you did something and that can really help you gain confidence for when the next challenge comes up. Now I have to get off the tree. This is the less fun part. Okay. I made it. That's exciting. <laughs> so travel introduces you to new ideas and cultures. It's probably one of the reasons why a lot of us travel is to experience new people and new ways of living and different than our own. And one of the reasons this is so good for our brains is that we carry a lot of limiting beliefs with us. And a lot of those beliefs are formed by our culture and the way of life and the way we live and the way we think it's always done because that's the experience that we've had but when you travel and experience new things that might be totally different than your own culture those limiting beliefs can kind of get basically destroyed you learn that these limiting beliefs that you had because you're raised this way aren't necessarily true and these things that you were told you couldn't do or you thought wasn't gonna work or 
you realize that that's not true and that, you know, like, you don't have to believe everything that you were taught growing up in your culture and your culture not might, might not be always right and there are other ways of looking at the world and that's really good for us because it allows us to realize that there's a different way that we don't have to stick with what we've always done. One of the other things that travel does that is amazing for our mental health is, um, well this one especially applies to solo travel, is that you meet new people. You meet new people every single day, all day. You don't really have a choice but to meet new people. And this is really good because it teaches you that meeting people isn't scary. <laughs> So this is really good if you have any sort of social anxieties, social phobias, or just you feel like you haven't fit in, is you have the chance to meet people from all around the world and form new friendships. I don't know, just meeting new people is just so good for us because we get to see the world through their eyes. For me, meeting new people when I travel, one of the reasons it was so good for me is that I do have social anxiety. I really, really struggle with it. and. It kind of takes the pressure off when you're traveling because if you don't get on with someone then you don't ever have to see them again if you're traveling solo <laughs> like if you meet someone like maybe you spend the day with them maybe just say hi to them in your hostel like if you don't get on with them you don't have to see them again and so it kind of takes the pressure off you know because like if a social interaction doesn't go right or something then it's okay you can just leave <laughs> like you're not stuck with people who you feel uncomfortable around but on the flip side you might meet people who you really got on with and then you have the opportunity to spend more time with them and get to know them and be friends and one of the thing one of the types of travel that i love most when it comes to oh my god i'm not but well balanced <laughs> to meeting new people is hiking and backpacking because there is nothing like the pain and torture of climbing a mountain with 15 kilos on your back and just being sweaty and tired and like sleep deprived to bring people together. <laughs> I hiked the Milford Track solo, um, but the way that particular trail works is there's only 40 people it's allowed on the trail per day. So you get to know these 40 people pretty well because they're the only people you see for four days straight. And I hiked it, I planned to hike it solo. Um, literally within five minutes of getting on the trail, I had made friends and we ended up hiking together most of the trip. And these are people I still talk to because you tend to bond with people when you're hiking because you're all doing something that you love. So you already have something to start with and then it's just a great experience. Oh my God, this tree is amazing. I'm so excited about this tree. <laughs> so another thing that travel is so good for our mental health is you really learn what you need, like what you, actually need to be happy and in this particular case i'm talking about material things and obviously material things don't make you happy but you know like you still want to be clothed and stuff so when you're traveling you really learn what you need and i think when we're at home we live in this sort of like fear and scarcity mindset of like oh my god i need all the clothes and what if i don't have this and stuff i'm sitting on this branch now because it's cool <laughs> so travel forces you if you're backpacking or traveling long term you're carrying everything with you. Your entire life is on your back and you really learn what you need. And you're, I think 99% of people are surprised that what they thought they need and what they actually need to really enjoy life is so much less. <laughs> so this happened, I went to New Zealand, I brought one packing cube worth of clothes. It was a decently sized packing cube. It was one packing cube worth of clothes and I was fine. I ended up buying a couple technical pieces of clothing, but it's such a freeing feeling when you realize that you don't need more material possessions to be happy and that they're not going to make you happy and that there are so many other things that are so much more worth your time and energy. And I think once you realize that, even when you get back home, you become a lot less tempted by acquiring these material things because you know you don't need them. You know that you know, you probably don't even want them because you know that there's so many better ways to spend your time and energy. And I think that's really good for us because we can obsess in our material obsessed culture about acquiring things and travel teaches you that that's not really necessary. <laughs> Another way that travel is so good for your mental health is that our brains 
are wired to crave new experiences. Our brains are wired to want to learn new things. And so new experiences actually cause dopamine rush in our brains, which is super good for us. And that actually literally does make us happy. It's not gonna last for long, but it's really good for us. And just one of the reasons why travel tends to rejuvenate people so much is our brains freaking love it. <laughs> Our brains want novel new things. This is especially true if you're a little hyperactive like me, but I think it applies to everyone. <laughs> okay, this is super hazardous, but we're gonna try it anyway. So much fun. Um, so another thing that travel is great for is when you're traveling, you tend to exercise a little bit more. You know, if you're walking around all day and you're, you're basically walking around all day trying to get to new destinations, um, you're exercising a lot and exercise is fantastic for our bodies and our brains. It is so good. It releases endorphins and when our bodies feel good, our brains feel good. So I am 100% a believer that everyone should be exercising, but exercising can feel kind of like a chore sometimes, which sucks. But when you're traveling and it doesn't feel like a chore when you're walking to a new destination that you're super excited about, or you're walking through a beautiful city or a forest, exercise becomes something that is not only great for our minds and bodies, but is also like super fun. Okay, I'm quickly losing my balance. So I have the choice right now to either be an intelligent human being, go back to the ground, and then go up to that part of the tree, or to do what I want to do, which is like shimmy slash low key jump to that part of the tree. <laughs> um, how much do I care about my ankles right now? That's the question. Okay. I don't know if there's like, hmm. Oh wait, I think I can like crab walk over there. <laughs> This is an entirely terrible idea. Okay, you guys missed that part because I needed both hands to not die. Sorry. Well, not really because I like not dying. Not dying is fun. Okay. <laughs> um, so another thing is being out in nature like I am right now. And definitely overexposing that side of my face. Being out in nature, which is the type of travel that I love the most and that I suggest everyone do because it's amazing for you. Being out in nature is clinically proven to improve our health. Our bodies are not meant to live in cement surrounded, you know, like manufactured environments. We're meant to live in nature. That's how our bodies are wired to function. And it is amazing for our brains to be at. And it's proven you don't even have to go super far. You can just like go to the park, but just being around living things <laughs> is so, so good for our mental health. So this I think is, I can't say it's the number one thing because these are all very important, but this is something that was really, big for me at least when I was traveling because I struggle with this so so much in my daily life is travel teaches you to be present in the moment and when you're traveling and you're where you want to be and you're experiencing new places and all your senses are just coming alive with the place around you and you're so so present you're so in the moment and it gives you a chance to disconnect from everything else so travel is super good for your mental health and i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the comments down below let me know if there's any ways that travel has helped your mental health i would love to hear it. i'd love to get a discussion started and if you like this video please like and subscribe it really does help and it'll help me create more videos for you guys all right Bye! I think just not fall. Or I could fall. That would at least make an interesting video, I think. I don't know. Be like a viral blooper. Idiot vlogger falls out of tree. Trying to film a video while walking backwards up the tree. <laughs>